Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Krista Clear, our SEC compliance-based educational podcast brought to you by Compliance University, a service of Focus One Associates. We're looking forward to sharing with you what we think is some very timely and relevant information. So here's Krista to introduce our topic this week. Thank you, Caleb. Being that it's an election year, we thought a refresher on political contributions and pay to play would be useful. In September 2010, the SEC adopted Rule 206-4-5 and related rule amendments under the Investment Advisors Act of 1940 to address pay to play practices by investment advisors. These rules address specific instances where an advisor would have to forego receiving compensation for providing services to a government entity client, which is known as the two-year timeout. There are, however, a few exceptions that would allow an advisor to make a political contribution without having to sit out for two years. Caleb, can you explain what those exceptions are? Of course, Krista. A person can contribute up to $350 per election to elected officials or candidates for whom they can vote and up to $150 per election to those for whom they cannot vote. These are called de minimis contributions. So for the upcoming presidential election, one could contribute or have contributed up to $350 to a campaign of their choice without triggering the two year timeout period. It is important to keep in mind that while the SEC has stated contributions made by a covered associates family member are not explicitly prohibited by the rule, The SEC has reminded advisors that both Rule 206-4-5 and Section 208-D of the Advisors Act prohibit an advisor from doing anything indirectly, which would be prohibited if done directly. So any political contributions from financial accounts held jointly by an employee and their spouse, partner, or other familial relationship could be viewed by the SEC staff as contributions in whole or in part by the employee. There are a few other exceptions to the rule, which we have included on our supplement being provided today. So make sure to check out the link below to get the full picture of the do's and don'ts for political contributions. Additionally, on August 18th, 2017, the staff made available an FAQ on the pay to play rule, which can also be accessed via the link being provided below. And that is all we have for you today. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel, LinkedIn page, blog, and for our clients, your Dash 7 dashboard to find any of our previous podcasts and resources. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great weekend. Class dismissed.